Scorpio, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for February 24th through March 1st. And um, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. Uh, roles can be reversed. You know the jazz. So let's, uh, let's take a look. I smell the fragrance of a candle. I don't think I have that fragrance though. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. Or do I? I don't know. It smells like flowers. Let's see. Wow, a lot of uh, pentacles in your reading, Scorpio. Really unusual. A lot of um, pentacles, a lot of... Well, a lot of pentacles, pretty much. They uh, take over the reading. So the overall energy for the reading is the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're looking at choices. You're... Yeah. You're just trying to figure out what's best for you next here. Um... In your recent past, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. So I kind of get here that things suddenly changed into you finding yourself pretty much on your own. And not just sitting there and, you know, feeling sorry for yourself. You, you started to move towards this, towards this energy of, oh my god, it's done, and, you know... Um, you started to move fast towards something in a new direction, pretty much. Um, in your current situation, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So it's looking like things are... Um, things are going, you know, at a, at a slow and steady pace here. Um, you're heading towards somebody that's looking like they have the, the possibility here to offer you something really, really stable. You know, or that's how it feels at this time for you. In your immediate future, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting for you. So, I do see here the possibility of a brand new beginning. Um possibly in a connection because i see you uh hanging on really really tight to you being independent so you not really wanting to take this brand new beginning even though it's showing up for you really powerful here we'll see we'll see when we clarify so let's uh do that let me clarify the uh seven of cups Very grounded energy for you, Scorpio. Very, uh, I don't see emotions. Which is, you know, it's not concerning. It's just unusual for you. Not quite yet. Maybe now we're going to get cups all over the place. You get the lovers, the hermit, and the devil. You're trying to figure out if... Um, I feel like you have somebody uh, in your mind here, but you're trying to figure out if that's the right person for you, you know? There's a Capricorn here, there's a Virgo here, there's a Gemini here. But um, it's not about that, it's about the fact that um, you're trying to figure out, is this the person for me or is it not, you know? Uh, let me see that Wheel of Fortune in your recent past. Let's see what changed here.
So things were moving pretty fast here. You get the um, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Again, Pentacles like crazy for you. Um, things were moving pretty fast in a pretty good direction. And something stopped that. Something ended that movement. I don't know what. I don't know who. Something prevented that from happening. Let me clarify the Five of Pentacles. You get the Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. So whoever you are dealing with was unhappy. That's the bottom line here. Uh, could have been a air sign here that you were dealing with. Whatever the case, I feel like this person decided that it's done because I'm unhappy. You know? Let me clarify the Knight of Swords in your recent past. The Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. You're moving away from this, though. You were, at least. Even though you wanted to move towards this person, I feel like you moved away from them for some reason. There was a lot of passion here, a lot of stability. But you were like, no. I don't know if this came from you or them. But I do see you moving away from them. Regardless. You know? Hey, boys. What's up? Let me clarify the uh, Knight of Pentacles in your current situation. Yeah, not trying to make things right anymore. Not trying to fix this. What happened, Scorpio? You were, you were the one that was always like, no, 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 I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix this. Not this time around. You're not... No. You're walking away from fixing this. Walking away from a cycle that's ended here. Something ended. And I feel like before you were like, let's try to make this work. Let's try to balance this out. Let's try to figure things out. Not anymore. Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles. You get the Ace of Swords, the uh, Knight of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Again, separation. Two energies that are moving opposite of each other. So there they are, the way they're showing up. This, I feel like it's you. The other person is going in the other direction. I don't see... Uh, I don't see that whole, oh my God, this is over, I'm hurting so bad. No, it's either this dragged on for quite some time and it was time for the split to happen. Because I do see it making sense for the both of you, you know? Let's see, let's see what's coming up next. Uh, let me go to this two of wands. In your current situation yeah you're uh, you're healing you're healing out of this connection you're coming up stronger um it's it's not easy it's uh you know it's a hard road to take but you're working on yourself a lot and you're healing you're coming out of that let's clarify the ace of pentacles in your immediate future you're creating this brand new beginning for yourself. You're working towards uh, something. There's you here. Um, it could be in regards to work. To I feel like it's it's your life in general. You know, you're working on yourself. You're growing something, possibly a business, possibly. There's a lot of sadness that comes with it. Because I feel like, again, I'm not seeing emotions here. And that's very unusual for you. And you're working uh, very logical, very practical here in this direction. Yes, it is going to bring you fulfillment. It is going to bring you brand new beginnings. But when you forget about your feelings 
emotionally, there's going to be a little bit of sadness here on your part. You know, that's going to get fixed in time, I'm sure. But for now, I feel like you need to do this in the way that it's shown up here. You know, let's clarify the four of pentacles. Yeah, they're still here. There's still you hanging on to to what could have been, what should have been, and things like that. And that's creating a lot of conflict for you because in the end, I feel like you're deciding to pull away from this. And then there's that nostalgia coming up. Like, oh my God, it could have been good. It could have been this and that. So that's showing up for you. It's, it's kind of bothering you actually kind of like let me move on let me do my thing because i don't want to be thinking about that but you can't help it at the same time you are thinking about that uh let me clarify the nine of pentacles you get the two of swords the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles so uh, you're, uh, you're very confused. You're not used to being on your own, being independent, being on your own two feet here. It's like all your life you shared the stability of yours with somebody. And it's a little bit confusing on how do I do this just for myself, you know, and be happy with it. Because I, I feel like for the most part, for most of you, it was... I'm going to work on this and then having somebody to share it with would be ideal. And that was the scenario for you. And now I feel like things are switching up for you and you're like, I would really like to enjoy this for myself, you know, before I can share it with somebody. And I feel like you're very conflicted about that. You don't exactly know how to do that. Like the existence of another person would stimulate you a lot you know in terms of yeah i gotta do this huh let me uh pull up some cards from the universe there's a lot of conflict here still between you and another person i feel like you're being very logical um conflict here uh, you're being very logical about the decision that you're making. And the decision that you're making is that you're walking away from this. And I don't know if this person agrees with how you're doing it. And that's creating a lot of conflict in between the two of you. But hey, it is what it is. It's very unusual, a very unusual reading for you. In terms of it's like you're a brand new kind of energy here of, hey, I'm being determined, I'm being practical, I'm doing this. It is what it is, you know? I love it, but it's unusual. Um, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped, and I will see you next time. Bye.